What's up YouTube, Jay Travelini here, and this is a video that is long overdue, and this is an update on my P104-100 rig and its profitability. Now, at the time of shooting this video, which is March 8th, Ethereum's trading at $1,787, uh, and $1,788, so it's still climbing a little bit. As you can see, Bitcoin's going up in price a little bit today. Ethereum is going up in price. DOT looks like it dropped a little bit, but not too much. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, everything that I'm mining seemed to be going up a little bit. Um, anyone that's on the Doge kick, that looks like it's going up a little bit. Also, 15.1% down there. Uh, if anyone's been in on, the, in, on, uh, <clears throat> in on that Doge. Uh, East, pretty much what we're talking about today, because we're talking about my P104-100 rig. Now, these are BIOS modded to 8 gigabyte cars. They have the Micron memory, as you can see here, the GDDR5X memory. I do not have the pill enabled on them, but as you can see, they're all getting 34 to 35 mega hash a second. At roughly 127 watts on average, 120 Five watts except for this one this one's a little bit lower uh i dropped the i didn't drop the uh memory or core any at all on it but i have it uh tuned just a little bit lower temperature wise sitting other than two of them are sitting below 50c in the 50c's this one's at 48 uh this one's at 61 possibly maybe looking at time to change out some thermal paste on a few of them uh, i've been running them personally for a long time and they, i know i bought them second hand so they were used we have phoenix miner running here um that's what it's mining on as you can see right here in the hive os as i'm remote accessed in uh, it's running on phoenix miner 5.5 base it is not the one that was compromised i'm pretty sure that the only one that was compromised was on nice hash uh, any miner that I talked to wasn't running that one, uh, except nice hash users. For some reason, nice hash seemed to be the only ones I had that. Now I didn't update this to the latest one because it's been running so solid. Uh, as you can see, it's booted two months ago. The miner uptimes 42 days and six hours. This has probably been my most solid rig. I mean, I kind of just set the overclocks. I just like turned it on and forgot about it. Um, now, two months ago, why it's only been running for two months now, I did have a power outage, so all of my rigs were down for almost six hours. I think my power was out for. So, it wasn't the rig's fault. It actually did what it was supposed to do. I was at work at the time when the power went out, and it clicked back on. I actually made a video about it, and then made a video on how to set your BIOS so that the power will turn back on. So we're looking at it, this thing is saying it's pulling 1,000 kilowatts. So this is my most power, like power consuming rig, obviously. It's got eight GPUs on it. It's my biggest rig. I don't have anything bigger than eight GPUs. This is my biggest one. I bought these. I actually, when I first bought these, I bought four. I put four on the, the rig. I paid, I think $200 each for them at the time. Put four on the rig. And they just, they worked. I liked them. They were getting 35 mega hash a second on average, 125 watts. So I contacted the guy because he had more of them, and I bought four more. So $200 each, I think I paid maybe plus shipping. I can't really remember at the time. Uh, the first deal I did through eBay, the second one I did outside of it because I was a repeat customer at that point. I had a bond with that seller. Uh, so I trust them a little bit more. So I did do the deal just through PayPal to get them a little bit cheaper on the second batch, but I still paid about $200 per GPU. Um, now let's look at the power 1000 Watts. So now it's probably sitting at probably close to 1080 to 1100 Watts after powering all the risers and the motherboard. So when we do the calculation, I'm going to do it at 1100 watts. We're doing 280 mega hash a second total 
on this rig. Now this rig has been running for a long time. It's obviously been paid, paid itself off. Um, but let's do some profitability on it. I'll turn these off because we don't care about those because that's not what we're running. So we said the 200, I'm not going to do 281, 280 mega hash a second. So it stays pretty much solid at that, but it's running, we're going to say 1100 watts. And I do stick to 15 kilowatt an hour. So this rig is generating $27.76 per day um, revenue. Now profit. With, with these numbers I have at 1100 watts at 15 cents per kilowatt hour, which isn't what I pay. I don't pay that. I pay like 13. Uh, anywhere between 12 to 13 is what I pay. Yeah. So it's generating $23.80 per day. So let's look at the rig. Let me get, let's get our calculator out here and we'll look at the rig now. So I said I paid 200 for eight cars. So we're looking at $1,600 in cards. I think I bought the motherboard cpu and ram for 140 i have two power supplies on it that paid for 100 each so my rig is 19 plus the veta frame which i got at the time for 48 dollars so i'm at 1988 dollars now at the time of shooting this video we're just going to go based off profit here i'm going to base it right off profit because we got to pay our electric we can't get around that so profit 23 dollars and 83 cents so if I divide that by $23.80, we're looking at it 83 and a half day payoff period. So if we want to go, go deeper than that, we can divide that by an average of 30. So under three months time, which I've had this running for way longer than three months, uh, is my payoff period for the entire rig. So that's my VETA frame. Both my power supplies, I did buy them used. They're EVGA 1000 watt power supplies that I bought for $100 each on eBay. I did not calculate in my risers, but they're very inexpensive. They were cheap risers for eight of them. I think I paid like 30 bucks. Uh, I got them on eBay used. I do plan on upgrading all of my risers in the very near future to either nerd gears ones or gprisers.com so i do plan on upgrading all those but we're still looking even if i put the risers in we're still under a three month payoff period that the rig is just paid off and it's just generating me almost 24 dollars per day profit and that's if i were to just go and sell this coin right now obviously which i do not do I usually hold on to my Ethereum. I have sold a little bit of Ethereum. I sold Ethereum probably close, it was a year ago now. I did sell some Ethereum to build my 5600 XT rig. I sold the Ethereum to pay for all those graphics cards. And um, I sold my RX 480s that I had at the time to pay for those graphics cards also. So between selling those graphic the RX 480s, and the Ethereum, that's what paid for those graphics cards, which I bought just at the right time because shortly after that is when the GPU crisis started. And now you can only get one GPU at a time if you're lucky. But that's the profitability on it. Uh, obviously, I'm way past this, so it's just generating me revenue in a sense. Um, you know, I did cash out some. So in, in sense, you could say that I since I cashed out roughly $1,600 worth to pay for graphics cards at the time, you can say that I, it's kind of paid off. Or you can say that the, it paid for my other rig. Either way, I wasn't paying out of pocket for my 5600 XT rig. But I do hold on to my coins for the most part, because I think it's just going to go up in value over time. It's always going to have its roller coaster up and downs. But in the longevity, I think it's just going to go up in price. But, you know, that's just an update on this rig, my P104 rig that I really don't talk about as much or have videos on as much. But it is part of my mining rig, and that's just the profitability on it. I just want to give you guys an update on it. It's been long overdue. I hope you like this video. If you do have P104s, you know, maybe write in the comments below what overclock settings you're using. I mean, you can see mine here. Plus 200 on the core, pretty much 1400 on the memory. Um, 
you know, 125 to 128 on the power limit. Running pretty solid. Very little maintenance on this rig, but you know. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.